what's going on guys i'm bringing another video today and today we'll be going over the off season recruiting and the stats and the players leaving first we'll start off with the stats and you can see miles brennan threw for 2646 yards 19 touchdowns and 11 interceptions and guys for his senior year ran for 1623 yards 16 touchdowns and i think he did have a couple of fumbles i don't think i show that in here but he did have a few of them and then the receiving, Jacoby Stevenson led with 38 catches, 3 touchdowns. Devin White led us up in tackles, and he had 105, and the next person behind him had 59, and that was Grant Delpit. Neil Farrell ended up leading us in sacks with 10. Rashard Lawrence had 7, and Devin White also had 7 at middle linebacker. Ed Alexander, he started up in one game towards the end of the year, and he ended up getting a sack. Grant Delpit ended up leading us up in the interceptions with 4. Kevin Tolliver was behind him with 3. Nobody on the defense ended up having more than one forced fumble, and we only recovered two of those, so that wasn't really that great this year. We also did end up getting four defensive touchdowns on the year. Now we'll check out the winners of the bowl games. Air Force ends up beating Oregon 35-28 to up in the Las Vegas Bowl. Washington beat Texas Tech in the Holiday Bowl. Notre Dame beats Boston College. Wyoming beat UTEP. Texas beat USC. Minnesota couldn't beat Kansas State. Clemson beats Auburn. BYU beat Indiana 38-17. Alabama wins against Ohio State 35-16. We win the Fiesta Bowl. UCLA versus Purdue up in the All-State Sugar Bowl. And then Georgia versus Oklahoma in the BCS National Championship. And Oklahoma ends up winning. Now you can see who's going to be leaving. And Jonathan Giles is going to be one of them going to the NFL Draft. And then Joel Nunez is going to be going to, going to be transferring away from us like Tyler Shelvin did last year. So maybe we can play against the team that he transfers to. And now we're going to look at the recruiting, and this is what we're dealing with right now. We don't have many leads on a lot of people, but we do got some leads, but they're not very big. And then here's the points that I end up putting. Stephen Wright, I put 3,650. Darius Watson, 3,800. Jeffrey Brown, 2,000. Brandon Lumpkin, 1,750. And then just the rest of these guys down here just really didn't care too much for it. Just if they get on our team, they got on the team. And now the signing day, Jeffrey Brown ends up going to South Carolina. Jay Russell goes to Air Force. Lawrence Gibbons goes to Georgia. J.R. Dow goes to Middle Tennessee. Trevor, Trevor Garcia goes to Kentucky. And then Darius Watson the fullback that I really wanted because he is so good up in the stats. Goes to South Alabama, and we lost by 200 points. Stephen Wright, we also won against Alabama over 200 points. Brandon Lumpkin, we barely won with him for 200 points, 245. So this right here was a close recruiting battle. And then also you can see the rest of the people we got, which Trey Miller, he's going to be the day one starter at running back. I already came up with that. He's going to be the day one starter. I don't care what anybody else says. He's a beast. We also end up getting the number nine recruiting class of the nation. And then here are the stats of everybody are the offseason training. You can see everybody. We also didn't have a fullback. So Darius Watson was a big guy to try to get. So now we're just going to get two walk-on fullbacks this year. And you can see our tight ends got a little bit better. Offensive line, which they played a lot better up in year two than they did year one. They only gave up a about nine sacks I'm pretty sure unless if well Nakarski got sacked a few more times but you can see everybody else on the offensive line that got better and then we also got a center this year Austin Delisu or how you say his name I'm not sure I have to learn it but he's he's going to be starting at right guard this year instead of center so we actually do got a center Rashard Lawrence he got better Ed Alexander he's going to be a starting defensive tackle which Brennan Fieco or however you say his name also he was a starter before but Ed Alexander, he was a tank up in the last few games when I did decide to start him. Flavion Chazen, he's also going to be starting at right outside linebacker. Finally going to get his time after starting or being backed up behind Arden Key for so many years. Just switching up size, coming in and out of the games. Now he's going to be the full-time starter. And he also did make that play up in the Fiesta Bowl on the second, or no, about third drive. He got that pick six on him. So that's pretty much the team this year. We got a lot of 90 overalls, so we're going to have a lot of people and now we're off to cutting, and we end up cutting a running back. And then we cut a Juco sophomore wide receiver, which we really didn't need. Another center that we just 
he was a walk on last year. Middle linebackers, which we had a lot of them, so we just decided to cut two of them. And then Justin McMillan, a 90 overall quarterback. You don't see that too much of a 90 overall quarterback getting cut, but I just didn't see him being a good quarterback after having Miles Brennan start last year and then Lowell Nakarski and Jeff House on the team being two good quarterbacks also. So I decided to st- I just decided to cut Justin McMillan. Now you can see our schedule, which the strength of schedule says it's a B plus, but playing in the SEC, I don't think you ever can doubt the conference being that bad. Here we are at red shirt now, and Manuel Ferguson's going to be red shirted with Marcus Alvarez and De- Dave McCray. I'm over here stuttering the words. Marcus Bell will get red shirted also, and then that's pretty much all the red shirting for this year because everybody else is pretty much going to play. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little quick little update on the off season and stuff. And year three is going to be right around the corner. Thank you all so much for the support on year two and also year one. Until next time, I'll see y'all later.